Here it is, 2 a.m. in uh, Dallas, Texas, 2:20 a.m. Looking at the Euro surge strategy. I want to follow up with that. It opened up uh, about an hour ago. It's been open for about an hour. This custom session that we use. I uh, wanted to show you the matrix. So you can see the market depth. You can see uh, the bids and the offers. This is how many the size of the bids and the offers. So there's some pretty good liquidity at this time of day. Uh, if you see, there's 40 contracts, 30 contracts. It's constantly changes changing here and so um, if you're concerned about liquidity at night it's there in the euro it's there also in the e mini s and p um, we'll go over some more of that later at another video but uh, how do you use this matrix this order matrix if you've never used TradeStation this is just a simulated account here one contract that's how you would buy you'd get long there at that price you left click if you want to sell you can sell but it's place a limit order up here to sell it there's your your limit order to exit at that price, 13183, and it's twelve and a half dollars per tick. So if it goes up here to 13183, it'll exit at a profit target. You could put a stop down here. If you put the if you put the cursor to the left or to the right and um, is is a sell stop. These are limits. So if you go below, if you're below it, it's a sell stop. If you're above it, it's a sell limit. On the left side, uh, the buy stops are above. And the limits are below, so let's put a sell stop here at 131.67 just for demonstration. There we go. I will update you on a, in a minute. Uh, we'll just see what this does here, um, but I'll update you in a minute and see what it, what it did. While we're waiting to see what this does, I want to show you what you can do. I want to cancel both of these. 131.83. And 131.67, and I want to show you what you can do. You can also place an order cancel order. So if one is filled, the others are automatically canceled. So you can go uh, place a order cancel order, exit um, one limit, one stop here. So there it is, and you can adjust it. When, let's put it back at our normal prices. This is just a, a, a an example trade. This isn't a system trade. This is not Euro surge. When you see Euro surge trading, you see indicators that tell you the signal uh, went got in. So let's look at how that signal would work. You had a buy signal there, and then it exited. So you can see what happens in a in a systematic trade. But this is just an example of uh, how to use the order matrix. If you have automation, it'll automatically do it for you. But if you manually trade, this is how you can use the order matrix. We're still waiting to do this, but you could take a trade like this. You could say, you know what, it's 2 a.m., 2.30 in the morning here. I want to go to bed. I'm just going to leave this in. And so you've got an order, cancel, order. Uh, if it goes down here, one's canceled. If it gets, a, if you fill it a profit, this one's canceled. What you don't want to happen is to place both these orders manually and then leave, and then one of them gets filled. So maybe you got out at a profit, and then uh, the market goes down here, and it and you, you get a sell, you hit the sell stop, so now you're short, and the market turns and rallies, and while you're sleeping, and so you've you've, you've got this um, open trade that you didn't even know about because you forgot to cancel your order, or you didn't have an order management in there properly where you didn't cancel your order. So either through automation, if you have if you are re reliable on your automation, you have it set up properly, and you have good internet connection, you can do that, or you can use this order matrix. So I'm going to pause the video again. And uh, we'll update you later on see how this did. So it looks like we'll probably get stopped out here on this trade. One more tick down, it's going to hit our stop. Maybe not. This is not a, a trade technique. I'm not distributing any sort of trading advice. I'm just showing you how the order matrix works. And I'm showing you in the Euro surge window, even though we don't have a Euro surge trade. I just wanted to show you how it opens up. And I want to show you the volume. And... Uh, you know, maybe it's going to bounce back here. It doesn't matter. It's a simulated account. This is just a demonstration. But one thing you could, you, you do notice here is the gap fill, uh, potential gap fill. And now the euro currency trades 24 hours a day. And so this gap is would just be a gap from the close at one, uh, one, one Eastern time until one p.m. Eastern time until 2 a.m. Eastern time. And so there's not a there's not a huge amount of uh, it's, it's a random a sort of a random closing number. We exit at the end of the it, towards the end of the um, 
we exit this strategy at 12 noon and this custom session goes to to uh, 1 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time and then we start trading it again at 2 so the gap is the difference between those two time periods but really the the euro currency uh, trades 24 hours a day uh, there there is a um, somewhat significance as far as the day session in there in the euro but it's not really as significant as a gap in the stock index is when you have the you know the e mini S&P closes at 415 Eastern time and then it opens up at at 930 the next day uh, the volume difference at night during that time period creates a more significant gap than a, the euro currency in this situation so I mean it's still a gap but it's not as significant of a gap in the time in the time analysis so pausing the video again so we got that right on time it showed up I just wanted to see how the other order was canceled that was stopped out it, uh, it took a took a loss so um, that's how it works that's how the order matrix works that's the euro surge windows we don't have any trades but look for the report to see if there were any trades